किनभने सुरुदेखि नै एकदम राम्रो भइरहेको थियो स्पेसियली जुन पर्पजको लागि हामी इन्डिया गएको थियौँ अनि धेरै जस्तो कुरा अचिभ भएको थियो अनि फर्स्ट फोर गेम्समा लगभग सबै कुरा राम्रो देखिरहेको थियो बट टेल जब सेमिफाइनल हारेपछि चाहिँ त्यसपछि चाहिँ अलिकति डिसअपोइन्टमेन्ट थियो टिममा सबैजनामा बट स्टिल टर्न अराउन्ड गरेर अगेन हामी नेक्स्ट डे फेरि खेल्नु पर्ने थियो फर थर्ड स्पट सबैजना रेडी थियो त्यसको लागि पनि बट स्टिल ती ती दुईवटा गेम वर्क गर्ने हाम्रो लागि सो आई थिङ्क एज अ टिम चाहिँ त्यही ब्याटिङ क्लिक क्लिक गरेर होइन बट लास्ट वन एन्ड हाफ इयरदेखि ब्याट्सम्यानहरूले कृतिपुरमा अब बाहिर हामी युएमा गएर खेल्न सो धेरै जसो ठाउँमा स्टेप अप गरिरहेको थियो सो आई थिङ्क यो एउटा टुर्नामेन्ट चाहिँ त्यहाँ हामी हामीले एज एज अ कलेक्टिभ ब्याट्सम्यान क्लिक गरेनौँ सो त्यो डिसअपोइन्टमेन्ट छ बट स्टिल अब त्यो डिसअपोइन्टमेन्ट लिएर बस्नु भन्दा पनि अब नेक्स्ट टुर्नामेन्ट के हो सो आई थिङ्क वेस्ट इन्डिज ए को लागि सबैजना एकदम एक्साइटेड छन् र बेस्ट बेस्ट दिन सबैजना रेडी छन् एकदम टिमको कन्डिसन टिमको कन्डिसन हेर्ने भने ब्याट्समेनलाई फेभरेबल छ सो आई थिङ्क एज अ एज अ बलिङ युनिट हामी अझै साफ हुन सक्छौँ स्पेसियली इन डेथ ओभर अब ग्राउन्डको डाइमेन्सन हेर्नु छ हेर्नु छ भने आई थिङ्क बलर्सहरूलाई अलि बढी च्यालेन्ज छ सो हामी त्यो एरियामा वर्क गर्छौँ र एज एज अ ब्याटिङ युनिट टिममा चाहिँ क्लिक गरेर धेरभन्दा धेर रन बनाउने र बलरलाई त्यो मार्जिन दिने त्यही हो expose it as possible before heading towards the world cup so we are adding four more names in the 16 so we'll probably be a squad of 20 players where we'll be sending a press release in after once we finish off this so the four players that have been added uh, in the 16 are vinod bhandari uh, sagar dhagal uh, kamal singh aidi and lokesh bam so we'll be a squad of 20 cricketers who are going to be part of this series and uh, and it'll, it'll depend on the selectors and the head coach and the captain to decide who the best 15 is going to be Uh, that are going to represent Nepal uh, in the World Cup. So again, as of now, uh, the World Cup is almost what month away, forty days away from now. The team is heading straight away to the West Indies uh, once we finish off the series here. Uh, so those four names have been added as part of our discussions this afternoon, and hopefully, uh, even uh, like the headache that West Indies has, even similar headaches we have as well uh, back home, where we need to identify who our best fifteen is. So that way, the selectors and the coach coaching unit uh, will have to. I take care of that and we'll be announcing the squad that is going to the world cup very soon probably by the end of the series so you can say that bring that across because when you say underperforming batting unit uh, we played four league games the batters did the job as well we crossed the line we scored runs you all came across and shared the record which was uh, 6 6 is by dipendra eri i was told that so very interesting how it comes off so i and i understand there is deception of emotion around the press as well as the fans over here but the, there is a lot of digging which you need to do in when we come across i would never use the word like that so i think what has happened is that you got caught unaware sometimes by well prepared team from the opposite side who comes across and ask you good questions and you are basically cornered and for one year which i can talk about last year was all about how well we brought our approach in which we were always willing to fight and i think the last two games uh, didn't really reflect our image that we are fierce competitors and i'm looking forward to that now because again we have an opportunity we are grateful for those opportunities we want to respect these opportunities this batting unit which has done well they are now in familiar conditions in tu so obviously i expect them to fire promise the boys who are working hard over here is that we are trying to create more opportunities for them so rather than saying that uh, the batting unit is unsettled and the bowling unit is settled we will only look at this 20 names at the as of now for this series we will take one game at a time then we can decide like i said one game then again one game and then can't be look at how it everything is looking one big happy dressing room sir believe uh, they will have good time here in nepal uh, talking about our preparation i think uh, we just came from oman uh, uh, we didn't get the result what we wanted but still this is sports so we have to move forward from there and uh, as a team we are very excited uh, for this series especially against west indies and this is the i think this is one of the one of the best teams we have played and we are looking forward to it and everyone is very excited before world cup so yeah thank you is uh for the players that see my day the play um for work up as well and beyond uh, we still have we have five games there then we have three games versus South Africa 
So I see it as an opportunity for these, for these guys to raise to make themselves for now and the future. And new conditions for you. Uh, you've had, I think, two sessions uh, in the stadium. How do you find the wickets and the uh, environment around you? Well, I mean, today was our first day of training. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to the pitch plays tomorrow. I'm judging from what we saw at practice today, I think it's going to be a little slow, probably spinning. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm hoping that you know you get you can get a good T20 track where we can see a lot of runs. Fans, the 15,000 fans are coming to watch cricket because they have a lot of exciting cricket. And quite a number of guys are returning, so we got the, the information from the analysts. So it's just for the guys to go there and put the plans that we have in place and execute them to the best of our ability, and hopefully. We can um, sell the 15,000 fans. Uh, Monty was part of the West Indies squad for three years, and we have brought us to in the team currently, who has worked for nine years. So, do you think we, uh, the team holds a bit of advantage knowing how the batters work? Well, it's, it's, it's okay to know, but you still have to go there and do. So, it's up to the players of them. Monty can tell his guys whatever he has to, but it's still up to the guys to go there and play cricket. So. Best team, eh? Coming back to the selection, you said there are only two spots and you have 15 players. How important is it going to be for your players to perform here? Well, that's the top going around that is only two spots. I don't know if there's only two spots, but that's the top going around um, to the great point. Um, I don't know, obviously, two spots, but hopefully the guys can just come and perform well, even though some of the guys may not get selected, even though they may have. Uh, good performances in this tour and maybe the South Africa tour. But like the coach said, there is cricket after the World Cup. The World Cup is not the end of the road for, for West Indies cricket. So hopefully the guys can just put the name up there and, and shine their light um, in front of the world and make a name for themselves. Because of these games, what outcome we'll get? But obviously we are competitive. We know that we have been competitive in the last one, and one, run up, one year and four months, if I count it properly. But this, again, this series is for us to build our confidence. You know, and, uh, with 16 players, a few more things to come. I think I'll leave it to Paris to announce that and then we can talk more about that.